Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, first of all, let's select this layer main and let's go to solo select anchor point let's move to left and move to down like this clearization tool and unsolo so let's press p and move to up okay so go to here and let's make new passing keyframe and go to some seconds or some keyframes and move to down and let's say animation Okay, this is very fast and select last keyframe, move right here. Okay, that's good. So, in this time, let's go to here and let's go 3 keyframe, 1, 2, 3, move to up a little bit, go 3 keyframe again, 1, 2, 3, move to down, select last 3 keyframes and make easy. Let's select this part and let's say animation. Okay, we have problem, let me show a solution. Select all three keyframes, right mouse, go to keyframe interpolation, change auto bezier to linear, click OK, let's say again. Ok, select last three keyframes, hold alt, move to right, let's say again. Nice, and go to here, in this time hold shift press R, open rotation, and let's make new keyframe for rotation. And go to here, chain rotation like this. Go to last keyframe, chain rotation 2, and go to some keyframes, change minus 1, go to 2 keyframe, change 0. So there are more keyframes for bones animation. Select rotation keyframes, make also easy. Let's see. Nice. So let's select first keyframe, also make easy. Let's see. Okay, select these two keyframes, go to graph editor and let's select this graph, move to right. Okay, back to keyframes and select these all keyframes, move to left. Okay, select rotation keyframes, move to left. Nice. So in this time, select this main, let's link to body, select body down, let's go to solo, okay, select this body, link to body down, and select body down, okay, and right now let's press P, make new passing keyframe, and go to some seconds, and move to right. Okay, and go to back, select this wheel 1 and wheel 2, link to body down. Okay, and let's press R, open rotation, make rotate keyframes, and go to here. Let's chain rotations like this. Let's see wheel speed. Okay. So, select keyframes, make easy. And right now, let's select this layer body, go to solo, and select palm behind, and let's move to here. Clearization tool, and unsolo. Okay, and this time press R, open rotation, make rotate keyframe, and go to here, chain rotation. 3 and go to here change minus 1 and go to some keyframes change 0 that 5 and go to again some keyframes change 0 select keyframes make easy okay select keyframes move to left
Okay, let's select these last three keyframes for body down and wheels. Let's move to left. Okay, and select these last keyframes for body. Go to graph editor. Select these all graphs. Move to right. Nice, very good. So back to keyframes. And right now, let's close all these keyframe settings. And let's see full view. Okay. So in this time, select this rocket layer. And let's press P. Move to down anchor point. Classification tool. And make new passing keyframe. Go to 7 seconds and move it up. Okay, select so keyframes, make easies. Let's animation. Okay, so in this time, hold shift, press air, open rotation, and make rotate keyframe. Go to here, let's change rotation 2. And go to here, change minus 3. And go to here, change to again, and here, change zero. Select rotation keyframes, make easies. Okay, nice. Select this composition group one. Let's link to rocket. Let's see. Nice. And select this fire, link to also rocket. Let's see. Okay, and in this time, let's go to FX Press Source, Effect Glow. And let's use Glow for this fire. Let's zoom to here. Change Glow settings. In this time, make Glow keyframe, press U for C keyframes. And go to here. Let's go to 3 keyframe, 1 to 3. Change Glow settings like this. Go to 3 keyframe again, 1 to 3. Change the game back. Again, go to keyframe. This is random keyframes. Let's see. Nice. Say so keyframes, make easy. And let's control C and control V for pass loop keyframes. Okay, let's see. Nice. Okay, in this time, let's go to FX Presses, search FX Wave Warp and select this Wave Warp, let's use for Fire Change some settings Let's see Okay, let's change speed here, 5 and change pinning here, top edge or let's try change button age. Okay, not bad. Okay, so in this time, select this fire. Let's control D and move to here. Again, control D, move to here. And again, move to here. And again, control D, move to here. Nice. So right now, let's select these all fire layers and right mouse, let's pre compass, add name fires, click OK and open composition, select all these fires, let's go to pan behind and let's move to up these anchor points and fire 4 and fire 3. Fire 2 and Fire 1. Let's go to solo. Look here. Okay, move to up. So, in this time, let's select this Fire 5. Press S, click this icon, and go to here. Make scale shape frame. Go to back and change scale 0. Let's see. Okay, select these scale shape frames. Control C. And select other file layers, control V, press U for C active keyframes, and let's make random 
three frames here. Nice, let's back to rocket. Okay, so select this file conversation. Let's link to again rocket layer. Okay, that's good. Okay, and this time go to shape layers, hold this icon, select ellipse tool, let's zoom to here, and hold shift, make one ellipse like this, classification tool, and let's go to first second. Let's press P, don't forget to move to anchor point center, hold control, double click this icon, classification tool, and make new passing chain frame, go to 15 second. We can change keyframes here, right here, 15, click OK, and let's move to left. Okay, this is simple animation, go to first second, hold shift, press S, open scale, and change scale 0, make scale keyframe, go to center here, change scale 100, go to last keyframe, change scale again 0. Select all chain frames, make easies. Let's see. Okay. So let's add expression for loop animation. Hold Alt, click this time icon. Go to play button, property, and loop alteration. For done expression, click this empty area. Again, make someone for scale. Hold Alt, click time icon. And go to play button, property, and loop alteration. Click here for done expression. Let's see. Okay, let's select this shape layer, change name smoke one. And control D, move to right little bit. Let's see. Okay. Control D again, move to right for two keyframe. Let's see. Okay, control D again, move to right, again, control D, move to right, again, control D, move to right for two or three keyframes. Let's see. Nice. So select these smoke shape layers, right mouse again pre compass, add name smoke, click OK. Let's see. Okay, very good. So in this time, go to shape layers, hold this icon, select rectangle tool, and let's cut rectangle mask like this, and go to here. Click this checkbox for inverted. Let's see. Nice. Select this smoke. Let's open conversation and click this icon for see smoke. Okay. Let's go to click this icon. Region of interest. Select region like this. Let's see. Okay, we can scale like this. Okay, go to conversation and use crop com to region of interest. Back to rocket conversation. Let's see, let's move to here and press M and let's delete mask one. Again, go to rectangle tool, make new mask, click checkbox, click session tool and select the smoke. Move to behind rocket layer. Let's move to behind here and put down. Let's move to again behind this conversation, group 1, let's see, okay, let's move to right this conversation, move to back fires, nice, press S, change scale, let's move to left, Okay, change scale a bit. Nice, and let's control D for duplicate. Right mouse, go to here, click flip horizontal, and move to right, is copy. Nice. And let's select the smoke, control D for duplicate, press M, delete mask, and press R, open rotation, chain rotation 90. And move to here. Let's link to this small conversation to rocket layer. Let's see. OK, 
Okay, let's move to up this rocket and go to solo. Also, go to solo rocket layer. Let's move it down a little bit like this. Okay, and go to pen tool. Let's make like this mask. And let's unsolo all these layers. Let's open mask one and mask one here. Right now, let's make mask path layers and select this mask feather. Let's make like this mask. Okay, and go to some chip frames, move to down this mask, let's open here like this, go to some chip frames, again open this mask, again go to some chip frames, open full, okay, let's see, nice, let's see full animation. Very good. And select this rocket, press P. And let's move to up like this. Okay, and select these two small conversations. Let's press T. Make new opacity chip frames. Go to here, change opacity zero. Let's move to left like this. Okay, that's good. Also, select this smoke conversation. Let's hold Shift, press S, click this icon, make scale shape frame, and go to here. Let's change scale like this. Change zero. Okay, and let's move the anchor point down a little bit. Nice. Also, select this smoke here. And hold shift press S, make scale chip frame, click this icon and go to here and change scale like this. Go to back, move the down anchor point a little bit. Nice. So let's see finally animation. Nice. So friends, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.